here we are in Rio Negrinho, state of Santa Catarina, and the place we're climbing at is called Parque Nacional do Braço Esquerdo. It's a really special place. There's a lot of sport climbing and, and waterfalls. Very beautiful place. Well, if I would define Felipe, he is a kind of a hero for, for us in Brazil, I think, because he has climbed something that none of South Americans has, has done before. So for us, it's like some inspiration for us. And it really helps to, like, to have someone that, that makes you feel confident about following that path, you know? I've known Felipe for a while now. Uh, it's funny because we have the same name and we're also born on the same day. He's a lot younger than me and, and it's really cool to climb together. We train together in Sao Paulo in my gym. And it's really refreshing for me to climb with someone younger and really motivated. He really reminds me of me when I was, you know, 17, 18, going to the US or Spain and just being really motivated and wanting to climb everything. He definitely pushed me to, to to climb harder and to be more motivated than, than, I, than I was at the beginning of the year. So we decided to stay at Evaristo uh, because, because it's an amazing farm, uh, even though it's a little bit far from, from the crag itself, it pays off on the rest days. It's been definitely a really cool program to, to follow, like staying here every day and then doing the one hour drive to the crag, to, to the sector, Corupa, and it has the same vibe as here, you know, you get there, park the car right next to the waterfall, you climb above the waterfall. Uh, so it really feels just like here where we stay. It's really, really cool. Where was where I learned to drink shop, really. We came here to, to Santa Catarina to try new routes, to like uh, both new routes and also to try old projects. Aquaman has 17 move, movements only. It's like two cruxes, um, one V11 in the beginning and another V11 at the end. It's really short, it's only two boulder problems. And the first one is a lot of compression and the second one is just pure finger strength and two finger pockets. So something new for Brazil, you know, here we always have just a lot of crimps. Uh, so it's really cool to find a route that, uh, that it's just pockets the whole time. When we first climbed Logan, we, we knew that it was really hard. Like, we never struggled doing the moves. Like, climbing Corupa was, the, the routes were normally around 8C, 8C plus maximum. And that thing was like a step on stone, you know? Logan, I think, is the, is the hardest route in Brazil right now. It's, it's cool to see Felipe put it together. I know it was a, a tough process for him. I was watching it close by and saw that he struggled a, a little bit. It was cool to, to help him and stay together here and, you know, and see him putting it together and, and sending.
Olha como ele vem! Yeah!